Kura koutou katoa. As the world continues to face the challenge of responding to COVID-19, the 75th anniversary of the atomic bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki remind us of the devastating impacts of world events. In August 1945, the world saw for the first time what nuclear weapons could do. The consequences were catastrophic, involving unimaginable suffering for those who managed to survive the initial impact and radiation exposure. Since then, we have also seen the disastrous impact of nuclear testing, including in the Pacific. Each of the more than 13,000 nuclear weapons in existence today possesses an even greater destructive force than that seen in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The use of just one bomb would be devastating, and nobody believes a nuclear conflict would end there. Millions would certainly die, and the damage to our environment would be irrevocable. Experts have warned that no state, group of states, or international organization is able to prepare for or deal with the effects of nuclear war. So if we cannot prepare, we must prevent. As UN Secretary General Guterres has said, the international community must reinvigorate its work on nuclear disarmament to quote, save humanity. It is not a job that we can leave to others or to future generations. He waka e kanoa. We are all in this together. This is why New Zealand, with the majority of the United Nations membership, recently adopted the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. I urge all others to join with us in ratifying this landmark treaty as a necessary step towards the total elimination of nuclear weapons and in pursuit of global negotiations involving all nuclear weapons possessors to achieve nuclear zero. Only that can be a worthy legacy for those who have suffered the use of nuclear weapons in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and their testing in the Pacific and beyond.